Hello friends, I am Dr. Vaseem Sheikh. In today's video, we will talk about defects in heat treatment. So let us start. First defect is crack. So your internal tensile stresses exceed the resistance of the steel to separation. So the main reason for cracks to be generated on the surface of the sample which are heat treated is that when you are removing the sample from the furnace you are using cold tool to remove the sample from the furnace. So as soon as this cold tool which touches the sample immediately there the sample will get little bit colder. So the temperature will reduce somewhat and because of this there will be some difference in the temperature of the sample and we don't want that. So the only thing which we can do here is that we can preheat the tool which we have. So when we preheat these tools, these tools will not create a temperature gradient when we are removing the sample out of the furnace and the temperature will almost be same. So it will not be quenched immediately which will make them more crack prone. The second defect is distortion. Distortion can be caused because of uneven heating, too fast cooling parts incorrectly supported in the furnace, incorrect dipping in quenching or stresses before preheating. Uneven heating can happen anytime where the sample is not heated properly at one place and it is heated in another place. So because of that when you are quenching the sample, the sample will have different property and because of this there will be a change in volume of the sample. Sometimes we do too fast cooling and even in this we will have a distorted sample. So the cooling should be at a proper rate. Parts which are incorrectly supported in the furnace itself where you are supporting at one end, you are not supporting in the other end, then there will be a distortion because the heat which is circulated inside the furnace will be uneven. Then incorrect dipping while quenching. So while you are quenching the sample, maybe you are dipping it very slowly. So one side of the sample is cooling faster than the other side. This will create a lot of stresses which are there. And because of this, there will be a distortion. The final one stresses which are there during preheating. So before you are doing the heat treatment, already the sample is having some stresses inside. So you have to relieve internal stresses before you do heat treatment. So there are some methods by which we can prevent the distortion defect is that we can preheat the tool, we can reduce the hardening temperature, we can review the methods of dipping that means how you are dipping the sample while you are quenching the sample. Next is warping. Warping means asymmetrical distortion. Here the distortion is happening but the shape is also changing and this is also considered as a defect because when you are doing heat treatment you want the sample to have the same shape and size after the heat treatment. You don't want the sample to change the shape or size. So warping is undesirable. So it is asymmetrical distortion. Non-uniform heating can cause warping. Overheating can cause warping. Quenching in the wrong position. Again, when you are dipping the sample incorrectly in the quenching medium, you might have warping. The cooling rate is also too high sometimes that will also create warping in the sample. So there are some design guidelines which we need to follow while we are making the samples because if we don't follow these guidelines, we might have some problem while we are doing heat treatment and then we will have all these sort of defects. So firstly, we should not have any abrupt change in the design. So the design should be very smooth. Abrupt change will create a lot of different areas where the heat treatment will not be proper and it will create a problem. We should also make sure that the holes are equally balanced. That means the hole should be at a proper place. It should not be in the corner or somewhere. It should be placed properly so that evenly the sample can be heated. Also while designing the sample we should take care that all the internal corners should be rounded off. We know that we always remove the burrs of the sample after machining and we make it round so that uh, first of all also we prevent ourselves to get physically damaged because these are very sharp corners. So we want to remove this sharp corner also we want to make sure that whenever we are giving heat treatment these sharp corners are stress concentrator and then this might create cracks this might create lot of distortion warping and prone to failure. Additionally to prevent any defect to happen in the heat treated sample we can break the sample into two samples means two part we can create an assembly and then after doing heat treatment we can fasten them together so here in one example you can see that we have this l shape assembly and in the first case you can see on the left hand side the better design is that we have two samples 
and after heat treating we can assemble these samples rather than having one entire sample of L shape so when you put this entire sample of L shape in the furnace there are chances of a lot of defects to happen while you are doing heat treatment again while you are making holes in the sample you design a sample in such a way that the holes are through holes so that while you are heating the sample the heat will be properly circulated around if you have blind holes again there is a chance of defects creeping in into the sample so friends here we discuss about the major defects which happen during heat treatment mainly cracks distortion and warpage we talked about how they were formed we talked about how we can prevent them and how we can make the designs of these samples so that the cracks should not happen when we are doing heat treatment Thanks for watching. All the best.